the Crimson King structure deck. That's right. A new Yu-Gi-Oh! structure deck. Not too sure what is exactly in this one. I know that's only Synchros, I believe. Um, bought this deck because I'm actually going to play a tournament with this deck in um, actually a few hours, to be entirely honest with you guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It would I would greatly appreciate that one. Um, how do I open it? Usually there's like a tab you pull, but... Yeah, so playing a, playing a tournament with this deck um, real shortly, actually. It's just like a little sort of, um, you know, everyone everyone buys one of these decks and plays the same card sort of thing, so it'll be interesting to see how it goes and how I go, because it'll be my first modern Yu-Gi-Oh! sort of uh, tournament in, in quite some time. I've been really playing some Speed Jewel, so it'll be interesting to see how that one goes. Um, so anyway... Here we go, into the deck itself. So we have Soul Resonator as our Ultra Rare. Vision Resonator as another Ultra Rare. Red Dragon Archfiend. I do need to brush up on my synchros. Um, one tuner plus one non-tuner monster. Yeah, I need, to, I need to brush up on my synchros and how to summon them. It, oh, and all of these cards have, have, so far, have had like mega... Mega named effects. It's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one to um to play for me. I think it's gonna to be tough. It's gonna to be tough, but it's gonna be. I feel like this is gonna be one of the best ways to get back into modern Yu Gi Oh because it's only it's 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 this deck only right, and it's only these cards. I'm only playing people who have these cards, so I know what they have essentially, and we're all gonna be on sort of a level playing field, I guess. Um, and it's only synchros, there's no XYZ or link monsters or pendulum monsters or anything like that, so it's going to be a little bit easier to, um, to jump back into, especially with some speed dual experience, but it's going to be, it's going to be tough, uh, nonetheless it's going to be tough. Uh, Red Rising Dragon, Everyone's King, and then now just, uh, Super Rares, I believe, Super Rares are the ones with the no font at the top. Uh, a red Supernova Dragon. Hot Red Dragon. Archfiend King Calamity. And then and a half. Sacred Dragon Archfiend. And so that's that's all our rares. I'm just going to put this down for a little bit. I'm just going to have a quick count of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we get eight holographics in a structure deck. I don't know if normal structure decks come with eight, but I feel like eight is a good number. I would like to see at least one secret rare. I think every structure deck should have one secret rare. One secret rare. I think that's I think that's I think that's okay to ask for. Okay. So a bone archfiend. Uh dark resonator. This is a tuner card. So one of the cards we need to use to get um one of our synchros out, I believe. The first time this card would be destroyed by battle. Each turn, it is not destroyed. Okay, so... Alright, it's, it's... Okay, it's okay. If you control a level or eight higher Synchro Monster, you can special summon this card from hand. So just... Do Tuna Monsters need to... Um, do they need to be on the field? Do you need to summon a Tuna Monster and then sacrifice that to summon... You can't you can't summon from your hand, right? With the Tuna Monsters. Hmm... Synchron Resonator. So yeah, everything is gonna. Everything looks like a tuner monster. So everything is gonna be flowing into um, getting those synchros out as quick as possible. I guess. Uh, Red Resonator. Crimson Resonator. Okay, this is not a tuner monster. Uh, a Vice Dragon. This is a regular, regular old bear boy. Uh, but he requires a uh, battle with Vader. What does he do? Uh, when an opponent monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, then end the battle phase. If summoned this way, banish this card when it leaves the field. Alright, that's a pretty good card. Probably want to chop up two or three of him in the deck. Uh, when this card is normal summoned or special summoned... Oh, why am I reading this one? Oh, no, we're not going to read. That's a long one. We'll only read the short ones. I think everything in here is going to be an effect monster. Oof, that's a long one. Okay, this one's a short one. We can read this one. If you use this card, if you use this card you control as synchro material, you can treat it as a non-tuner. Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So he's both. That's 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 nice. Oof, that's a long one. Oh, oh, I thought that was um Jack Black, but it's King Bat Jack. Oh gee, that is a that is a long name. 
All right, Assault Beast. You can discard this card to the graveyard, add one Assault Mode Activate from your deck to your hand. I have to keep that one in our mind. Oh, I want to read what the Assault Mode Activate actually does. I'm assuming that's a spell or a trap card. Uh, Psy Reflector. Fire Ant Ascator. Ascator Dawnwalker. Danger. Nessie. Danger, Chupacabra. Witch of the Black Forest. Okay, that's a more of a traditional card. I still don't know what it does, but it's more of a traditional card. Absolute Power Force. Now, was that the card that that other um, that other one wanted to summon? No, Assault Mode Activate. Assault Mode Activate. Okay, okay. Assault Mode Activate. That's what we're looking for. Absolute Power Force. Crimson Gaia. Resonator Engine. Target two resonated monsters in your graveyard. Add one level four monster from your deck to your hand. And if you do, return those targets to deck. Okay, okay, so it's a graveyard shuffler. Add one resonated monster from your deck to your hand. All right, all right. A lot of deck searching here. Discard one resonator monster. Add one level four or lower fiend monster from your deck to your hand. You can only activate one resonator command per turn. Interesting, okay. Yeah, a lot of deck searching going on. Burning Soul, Ooh, Pot of Extravagance, what does this one do? I, I know Pot of Greed, uh, and I know Pot of Extravagance is is the um, the one you're actually allowed to use because Pot of Greed is banned, uh, but I've never actually read what it, did, what it does. I, I don't really play. This is going to be my first time. So, uh, at the start of your main phase, banish three, banish three or six random face-down cards from your extra deck face-down. Draw one card for every three cards banished for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, you cannot draw any cards by the card effects. Damn, so you're pretty much sacrificing synchros to draw cards, right? That's that's what that one does. Fiendish Golem, or Golem, depending on how you want to pronounce that one. Uh, Red Zone, what is that? We haven't found that card that, that it's said to summon. King's Synchro, Red Rain, Time to Stand Up, Fiendish Chain, Powerful Rebirth, a lot of... You know, the traps are going to be pretty... Oh, Assault Mode Activate. This is this is it. This is the one you get to your hand. Tribute one Synchro Monster. Special Summon one Assault Mode Monster whose name includes a tributed monster's name from your deck in attack position. Hmm. It's going to be... I feel like this deck requires a lot of knowledge of the deck itself. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Terrors of the Overroot. This is a good card. I... I very happy with that card. All right, so back into some more synchros. I think these are all going to be synchros from here on. Um, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Oh, I'm going to get I'm going to get torn apart in this tournament. I can already tell oh, that every card has like a paragraph of text, and I'm just I'm just going to get torn apart. I can I can see it. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Bane. Red Nova Dragon. Oh. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. All right. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe next time we can, uh, you know, get a get an easier deck, I guess, to uh, to go through. Obviously, there's a lot. I don't think we got any normal monsters in this. It's all, it's all effect monsters. I'm then thinking back, actually. I don't know if any, other my, if any of the other decks were more normal than this, I think. I think they're all pretty, pretty much the same. Uh, very, very tough. If you're like a brand new person to Yu-Gi-Oh, very tough to buy one of these and uh, sort of get planned straight away. I guess, isn't it? Ah, but nonetheless, if you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and, sus and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya.